Welcome to BioRad's Masterclass Series. This is a short video that will describe the amplitude multiplexing strategy. Amplitude multiplexing is one of three easy multiplexing strategies that is used to expand the number of assays that can be added to a well when using DDPCR. Drop the digital PCR has many compelling advantages over other PCR methods. Easy multiplexing is one of these compelling features. Partitioning of the sample creates a unique situation where the assays do not have to compete for the PCR resources like a bulk solution multiplexing does. The more partitions, the more assays that can be multiplexed. Each droplet partition will have its own fluorescence, allowing for many more possible positive clusters to be identified clearly. Here is a 2D plot with 16 clusters of positive droplets that can be identified with just two fluorescent channels. Finally, detecting the droplets after the PCR reaction is complete, otherwise referred to as endpoint detection, means that differences in efficiency caused by the multiplex will have no impact on the quantification of the sample. Here are three examples of DDPCR multiplexing strategies and how the clusters might appear on the 2D plot. At the top is an amplitude multiplex with four assays, a probe mixing triplex on the bottom right, and on the bottom Left is a probe mixing radial multiplex showing a fiveplex. More clusters can be added for further multiplexing. Today, I'm going to explore the amplitude multiplexing strategy. For the other two methods, see the additional videos. Amplitude multiplexing can be created by purchasing two assays in FAM and two assays in HEX, and then varying the concentration of each assay in order to separate the positive droplets on the clusters in the plot. At the far left bottom corner of the plot is the cluster of droplets that have no target amplicons for all four assays. Just above this cluster on the FAM channel or channel one axis, the first cluster shows where the positives sit for assay one. This assay was added at half the primer concentration. Just above that is another well separated cluster of positive droplets for assay two. This assay was added at the full primer concentration. The fourth cluster at the top consists of double positives having targets for both assay 1 and 2. Similarly, on the bottom axis going from left to right is the hex channel or channel 2 positives, where the first cluster is positive for assay 3 at half primer concentration. The positive cluster for assay 4 is just beyond that at full concentration. And finally, the double positive cluster at the far right is positive for both assay 3 and assay 4. There are numerous higher order clusters having different combinations of positives, with the cluster in the top right having droplets that are positive for all four targets. The analysis is simple when using Quantisoft Analysis Pro or QX Manager. After opening and selecting amplitude multiplexing in the assay information box, the software will provide a guide to make clustering easy. Just follow the guide to, la to label each cluster. In summary, easy and robust multiplexing is a compelling reason to use droplet digital PCR. Thousands of partitions per sample prevents competition for PCR resources and allows for many fluorescent signatures in a single sample. Reading droplets at endpoint ensures that every assay on each sample will be quantified. For best results, we recommend visiting the BioRad Digital Dash Assays website where you can design and purchase assays that have been designed specifically for DDPCR. For additional reading on multiplexing and other topics, look up the Droplet Digital PCR Applications Guide Bulletin number 6407 and Bulletin 7204 for more information on multiplexing with Droplet Digital PCR. Thank you for your time.